Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Renowned Explorers. So we got a few new locations. Five star locations in fact. Um, I don't remember if I... I don't think I've ever done a five star. I've done four stars. But I think I went and just did something easier. And I think I'm going to probably do the same thing and do something easier. Let's go for... Uh, there's the Hungarian for it. But that has ta tacticians, and I don't like that. We can go for Molly Mystery, which goes for friendly approaches. Expect plenty of rogue, athlete, and bike guy other challenges. Yeah, let's go for that. It doesn't really matter what the results are. Um, if Generally, we probably want to favor more um, science stuff, but we can get science anywhere. Alright, so we've we've been here before. It's just this time I'm hoping to do slightly better. We do have seven resolve, so I'm hoping that will help. And uh, yeah, we can uh, have some fun with this. So let's go and do a nature challenge, which will get us you know, all those tokens. Uh, the entrance of this cave has collapsed and is sealed off by a thick wall. You would love to know what's behind it. Um, Padreno, Padreno uh, bashes the wall in with with full force, because he's a level 2 athlete. One campaign. With Paterno's might, you bust in. Once uh, inside, a surprise awaits you. This cave is full of weird material. One vein of glowing stones is particularly interesting. Someone might start mining and researching. Well, we can go ahead and do that, because we have, you know, a bunch of naturalists. This, these materials are quite strange. Amelia decides to take some with you for the lab in the market. After Amelia is done, the crew moves out. Bam. Okay, um, over here we have a technique challenge and potential treasure. Over here we have a witch challenge. Uh, this is actually a free move, so I'll take advantage of that. A hermit villager is playing around with some monkeys in the jungle. He seems distracted and his hut seems to hold a genuine treasure. A closer inspection shows you it's a Benin mask. The treasure up for grabs. Yvonne has a dastardly plan. Sneak around and take the Benin mask while that monkey lover ain't looking. Amelia is appalled. You don't go around nabbing, other, uh, nabbing others' treasures. Yvonne assures Amelia that you're only borrowing it for an indefinite time. Amelia will not stand for this. She is supportive, supportive and helpful. Amelia will not stand for this. Yvonne calls Amelia a blockhead for not taking a treasure like an explorer. And Amelia retorts uh, by calling Yvonne a moronic moose. Within seconds, a fight breaks out. Oh no. Then you notice laughter. The hermit and his monkey are making fun of you. Ooh hoo ha ha. And your best monkey knees, that translates to, I can't believe they're fighting over this old mask. If those buffooning buffoons want it that bad, they can have it. You don't know what that, what that last sentence meant. So we got a secret and a Benin mask because these two don't get a, are opposing alignments, I guess you can say. So we got that plus a treasure hunt and a discovery because we did get an artifact. And we're going to get two more treasure hunt. You leave uh, with the bin and mask in your hands. However, both Yvonne and Amelia are a bit ashamed uh, of their behavior and apologize to each other. It was indeed a shameful display. Shameful display! Alright, well, we can go this way for free. So let's keep taking advantage of free moves. If you find a little hut, you can hear weird noises coming from inside. Take a look. A lonely lady is trying to move around furniture in her small hut. Oh, hey there. I was trying to trying some new house decorations, but moving my wardrobe and bed around is so hard. Well, you can help her, but uh, the small hut gives you little moved, uh, room to move. You are you have to be athletic to make it work. So I could guarantee this works, or I can risk a uh, fail, which I'm going to go ahead and risk the fail. We, do, we will lose a resolve if this fails, so it's going to fail. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, he was a great help. The lady, lady is very pleased with her new interior and shares a secret technique. Well, it's a secret massage technique. You might not think much of it, but it can relax even the grumpiest soul around here. It might come in handy. You learn a secret massage technique to relax a very grumpy person. Okay. I'm not sure what to expect there, but okay. And we have access to his final uh, ability. Allies within range of party time are healed, but for 35%, minus 35% power. Um, and 
and party time gains plus 25% power when your current attitude is friendly. So we can make it stronger or we can make it so it heals. I wouldn't mind having an, another AoE heal, but I usually use it in situations where I'm surrounded. So I guess I'll go for this one. So there you go. And yeah, so he's now officially maxed out on level. He cannot level up anymore. And right now there's a cat in front of me and she's not being nice. And he get off desk. All right. So at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and backtrack down this way. There's a mysterious um, village where everyone wears masks. A guard stops you. You're not allowed in. Only those with a prestigious mask can go on. Uh, go in. Great. So you can either charm your way in, or you can use the mask. Which, I mean, with Beguiler, I get 120% anyway. So I don't think I need to use the mask. And I'd rather get this. I'd rather get a study over a campaign. So yeah. At one point, the mask villager falls for Yvonne's charms. You really like my cute nose? Oh wait, you're just acting impressive. You could call that a mask indeed. The mask man lets you into the village. Continue exploring. You are allowed to stay the night in the village. Uh, Perinko jokes to Amelia that now that you got their trust, you can burn the whole place down. Amelia reacts shocked, but soon finds out uh, Pedrino was only kidding. There is much to do here. What will the crew do in this village? We can have Yvonne beguile an unsuspecting villager. Or we can learn more about Mask. I really don't know what to expect. To no one's surprise, really, Yvonne manages to seduce an unsuspecting villager to such a level to so such levels that his mask starts to glow red. He wants to show his love uh, for Yvonne with a gift. He offers some expensive jewelry or some or a special memento. Um, poor fool has no idea. So we can get treasure hunt in campaign or we can get a mask charm which is an item. Uh, let's get the mask charm. Plus 15% um, speech defense plus 5 armor and gets you uh, astonishing. Take the item. Um, is there more your crew can do in this friendly village? Well, we can go and do this. Um, they diplomatically make uh, some new friends, which allow Amelia and the crew to take some supplies or regain some resolve. Uh, I actually want the supplies. Is, uh, and then let's talk about Mask. At the campfire, Amelia listens to all the stories about the Mask of Badness. It is said that to bring a whole city to ruin it and that it's hidden under a veil of emotions, whatever that means. So we get one secret from that. We saw enough, leave the village. After they, uh, after Amelia and the crew had a good time in the village, it's time to leave. The weirdly masked man, men wave you goodbye. All right, good stuff. So I can head down here and uh, get some more events. Might as well, because I just got a bunch of free stuff. You knew uh, they were around caravan raiders. There are too many to take on, uh, take head on, but they didn't notice you coming uh, from around the rocks. You see some coin in an interesting document that you would like to have. Maybe you can acquire those goods quietly. All right, we do have a quick thinker, so we'll just take it. Ha! The bandits didn't notice uh, him sneaking past. Getting the coin and the document, Cheh, thugs. The document uh, is very interesting. It talks about. Sorry. Uh, the document is very interesting. It talks about a hidden hoard close to a single fat palm in, palm in the desert. Well, that, that could be anywhere. <laughs> Alright, well, we can go up this way. You find a weird yellow mask. A message is inscribed. Putting on this mask will weaken you, but bring you mystic blessings. Um, well, you have 50 speech defense. Puts on the mask and is terrified by a horrific vision. The mask burns into nothingness, but you magically got some new research. Hooray for science. We'll get three study for that. All right. Um, 
Speaking of studying, um, we do have this Beguiler stuff. Of course, everyone has Astonishing except for her, so we'll switch these two. And then switch those two. Alright. Go ahead and uh, keep exploring for free. Find an old crate full of valuables, lucky find. Go ahead and do some encounters. Oh dear, a pack of hyenas, they look particularly aggressive. Alright, let's start playing around with hyenas then. Alright, get quite a bit if we go friendly. Of course, it's going to make us vulnerable, but that's completely fine by me. This is like a two-star encounter, and we've been doing four stars, so we should be fine. <laughs> Best buddies! That is quite a haul. We managed to tame the hyenas, even the meanest beast can be befriended. A valuable lesson. Hello? What do we have there? Not a committee for the witch doctor approaches you. Hmm, you seem moderately inter interesting. Uh, maybe you'd like to enlist on the waiting list for those who can, be, can amuse our leader, the witch doctor. He might give you some reward for your foreign tricks. Waiting time is five months. Well, you want to uh, meet the witch doctor, but you don't have to, that much time to wait. Well, um, we do have Yvonne here. Yvonne persuades them. <laughs> the, event the villagers are pretty excited. Y Whoa, Yvonne, you really are something. Say what? Uh, say what? We'll make sure you only have to wait two months. Ain't that great? Um, that still takes too way too long. You'll have to put a little more effort. The villagers trick you. If we go friendly, it's a... Uh... <laughs> the villagers are punched in, into endorsing you, maybe. So obviously we want to do a friendly result here. Which is easy enough to do. And we're not going to be able to reach her. Alright, pretty easy. This is because we put a lot of work into, like, going through hell on the first several, uh, adventures. The villagers are utterly impressed by you. We have to admit, you're pretty cool, especially you, Amelia. You are, like, the best person, like, ever. We'll make sure that you can get an audit whenever you come. Great. Alright, and we have access to campfire. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Positive energy. Um, tranquility gains 50% extra healing power, which is nice. And, or we, could, we can also make it so Tranquility will do damage, which I actually would like that, so let's do that. Okay, so the only person that hasn't leveled up yet is uh, Yvonne. Which 
just fine. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and camp. We do have secrets, which would give us additional buffs. But it's not anything we really super need. But if I put it into... I can also get 8 more tokens, which is 80 research. Let's get some, uh, let's get some more study. Amelia adamantly blah blah blah. Okay, we've seen this before. Boop. There we go. 31 tokens. We've gone through almost the entire deck. Alright. So what we want to do here is go after this guy. Tactician is going to be the biggest issue, of course, because we don't have anything to deal with Tactician. The Mask of Madness, the forgotten mud city. Legends tell about the Mask of Madness that is said to have brought this place to ruin. It still must be around here somewhere. Miller's Explorer heart is starting to beat faster. The ruined mud um, buildings are impressive. It's almost as if someone was has been maintaining them. The crew looks around. The central tower seems to be the obvious place to go. Yvonne's Rogue Sense, uh, senses, uh, Rogue Sense notices there is someone nearby. With eyes wide open and while keeping the crew quiet, Yvonne leads the crew around the Forgotten City. When you finally find someone, a masked man is repairing a mud building. Amelia tries to uh, talk with the man, but he simply ignores Amelia. His mask is glowing eerily. At least you figured out how the city has not fallen into ruin. Peculiar, continuing to the central tower, we get a secret and two collect. When you enter the central tower, you find quite a scene. The walls are fully de decorated with many masks. Not only that, but you find one of your rivals. Virginia James, the stout American explorer. She and her crew are looking around puzzled. Just pick one. Any mask would make your face look better, darling. <laughs> Get plus three speech. Virginia is surprised by your presence. What? Oh, it's you. Very funny, Yvonne. We're looking for the mask of badness, but it's not here. It looks like you chased a dead end, but maybe there's a hint somewhere uh, on what to do. Well... <laughs> Let's make everyone smile. Everyone's laughing out loud, uh, out loudly due to Yvonne's approach. Suddenly, something weird happens. What ha what's happening? The masks start to roll around at enormous speed. What trickery is this? Absolutely amazing. The mask of abundance suddenly appears out of thin air. What a magnificent treasure! Virginia moves to pick it up. Thanks, Amelia. Uh, that was all we needed from you. Goodbye now. What? Found it. Your reputation as an explorer is on the line here. We need to convince her. Not sure what I did, but that worked. Obviously, if we go aggressive, uh, she'll respect our strength. Or uh, we could convince her. Virginia will not care about deviousness. Which is fine. So that's posse. Alright, nothing too out of the ordinary. These guys are vulnerable to, um, the posse are vulnerable to, um, what do you call it, impressed, and the rest are vulnerable to confident. Unfortunately, I don't have any moves that do confidence. That's okay. More, I didn't even notice those two. That's okay, we just need to go for the boss. And the boss is exactly who I'm going to go after. Unfortunately, I will not be able to reach her. Oh. Now 
or dandy. Send it. Uh. You convinced Virginia James. Well, yeah, you're right. You're the one that found the Mask of Madness after all. I would be an explorer without honor if I took it from you. The treasure's yours. Okay, Mask of Madness. Plus one encounter at the end of each expedition for each level of Beguile in your crew. We currently have... 2... 6... So that's 8. 9 levels of Beguile in our group. Which means that's 9 encounter. Which is either we get 9 encounter or 18 encounter. 18 encounter would be that much. Uh, honestly, I would rather have the encounter at this point. It's more useful to me. It gives science. With the Mask of Madness in your hand, you leave the Forgotten Mud City. What an adventure. Amelia is happy with the result, but hopes uh, you won't have to chase down another enchanted mask in the near future. Okay. So that's all been taken care of. We still have 12 supply to work with, so... Well done, you found the hidden hoard of the sec expedition. On every ex expedition, there's a hidden hoard to be found. On these occasions, fate smiles upon your crew. The crew finds a uh, discovery. Okay, and then we can go over here and get a bunch of free tokens. Uh, walking through the deserts is not just agony. You also get to study the properties of certain things in extreme heat. Go ahead and get some free tokens. Then head over this way. We find, okay, this is two snakes fighting. We have seen that one before already. Uh, if we head up this way, we can get, get a free route, so I'll go ahead and do that. A convoy of miners is passing by you. A representative of the mining company sees you and wants a word with you. Alright, hey, I uh, don't I know you guys from the Explorer newspaper from somewhere in the back section? You have quite the reputation. Would you be interested in some uh, using some of that reputation to put in a good word for our company? You'll be rewarded handsomely. You see, we had a little accident lately, and now these locals are moaning about unnecessary details such as safety and human rights, and it's annoying. No, let's make that. Let's make a physical statement. Amelia is fed up with this man who has no respect for human life, and out of nowhere, Amelia punches him right on the nose. You quickly leave the scene before bad things happen, but chances are pr uh, pretty high the locals will hear about this. Nothing special. Oh, more supply. Mine crosses your path, foreigners. Are you too looking for gold or even the amazing crystal mountain? You greedy foreigners are the same. I would like to ensure this is successful, so I will maximize this. This will get us a secret, supplies, a miner tool, and some other nonsense. The miner is more at ease with Amelia's uh, diplomatic approach. Um, thanks for the gesture. If you're looking for some gemstones, you won't be disappointed. Take my specialized mining gear. You, it will yield better results and open up new possibilities. Great, he seems to be hiding something more. Amelia cranks up the charm to 11. The miner's convinced of Amelia's important mis uh, mission and leans close. Well, since you're so charming, I'll tell you a little secret. I kind of trick people. Uh, there aren't that many mines over here. I'll mark a few mines on your map. He leaves with an awkward wink to Amelia, and that gets us another secret. And then there's something over there, apparently. Crew continues exploring, eager to find some of those special mines.
All right, well, we're down to one tool. Well, that's fine. Oh, never mind. We can craft a tool out of this. <laughs> An abandoned salt mine is on your way towards the, your next destination, although there is nothing useful to mine anymore. There can be some useful equipment found. Maybe someone could craft a tool, a uh, useful tool out of it. Go ahead and do that. And there you go. Amelia created a useful tool out of the equipment and learned some things about the equipment. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and head down this way. A group of scared elephants is coming towards you. Thank you, Pedro. Now. Fernanda leads the uh, crew through the incoming herd of ele elephants. By timing correctly and thinking quickly, uh, he manages to get everyone safe uh, Everyone safe on time. Okay, and another uh, naturalist, so we will go for that. You arrive at a small tribal settlement and, and are invited to stay the night. The tribe invites you to participate in a ritual to prove strength and courage. This year's challenge is walking on burning coals. I don't really... We do have uh, tools to spare, but I think I'd rather save it for the upcoming stuff. So... Worst that's going to happen is minus 5 armor. So yeah, we'll just go for it. Oh, got it. He walks barefoot uh, towards the starting line of the coal parkour. Uh, while the others join the tribesmen in some chanting, uh, he takes a deep breath and walks over the burning coals without any sign of pain. The tribe is impressed, and, and his performance has given explorers a good reputation. Okay. You find a weird green mask, a message inscribed. Putting on this mask will weaken you, but bring you mystic blessings. So minus 10 speech. I actually don't want that. Leave the mask. Yeah. Alright. And then we're just going to head back down here. Uh, actually, I'm looking at the route. One, two, three, four, five. That sh okay, we should be able to get there. You see the remains of an old battle? Uh, with many broken weapons, you may focus on the historical valuable, uh, value or take some we valuable uh, weapons. Uh, we can go ahead and try to get the uh, significance out of it. There we go. Uh, Amelia determines what ha happened here in the past. Two tribes must have gone to war over a nearby lake. Uh, she writes down her findings. Go ahead and check this area again. Oh, nothing happened. I guess we already found it. Well, that's pretty much everything. No hyenas this time, or, but that's okay. When the crew splits up to cover a larger area, Amelia finds a small mud pyramid. You can hear the hissing of snakes inside. A skeleton lies in front of the entrance. You, you're sure to find something really good in there, but going through, there must be resolve breaking. Sure. It's a hellish tour and, tour, and Amelia kicks around the snakes desperately, but Amelia makes it to the center of the mud pyramid. There you find a clay tablet f about Songhai princes. Amelia thinks about how, how to use this vine. Obviously want a discovery. After choosing, Amelia rushes back to the crew, not wanting to be in the pit of snakes one second longer. The crew is impressed with Amelia's show of bravery. Okay. Yellow mask, no. Leave it be. You find, uh, the crew finds a native plaque that makes a lot more sense uh, since you've visited the Forgotten Clay City, where the Mask of Madness was rumored to be. So it would have gotten us more info, but we already found everything. Alright, last stop. This is it, the Witch Doctor Village. Maybe Amelia and the crew will be able to get a rare local treasure for your collection there. 
Once you visited the village, the blah blah blah. What a unique village. The villagers are all gathered around the central place where an event is taking place. You can only hear, meh, these people are boring, and I will not give them a treasure. Send them away. That must be the witch doctor. You're right, the witch doctor uh, just sent two other explorers away. He turns his eyes uh, to Amela, Amelia, obviously annoyed that another person has come to audit. Ugh, another annoying group of scallywags. Go away, you're not getting anything. Well, I have Beguiler and Diplomat. Just like the most old, uh, like most old people, Amelia has put in a lot of effort to make a point. But after a few minutes of loud conversation, the witch doctor is at least stalled. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me consider. Great. Maybe he'll give us a treasure. The witch doctor turns to his audit committee. Are these young folks on the list or something? Are these people uh, musing of, of some sort? Uh oh. Looks like your chances is depending on these guys. Let's see. The audit. The audit committee puts in a good word for you. They tell the witch uh, doctor how strong your personality is and he should hear you out. It seems your previous approach has benefited you. Good job, committee. Alright. Uh, the witch doctor turns to you again. Ugh, okay, fine. Amuse me. Hey, that secret massage technique. The witch doctor is skeptic at first, but then finally gives in to his massage. Ah, if I haven't felt this good since forever. I'm so relaxed. He orders some villagers to bring an item. The golden chihuahua. I believe you've earned this. Well, on one condition. Mm. That was amazing. I swear you have this chihuahua. But please massage me a little bit more first. I'm almost relaxed enough to give this amazing treasure to an outsider. He uh, gives another massage. Aww. I wonder if there's a limit. Alright, no, it's enough. That's quite enough of this tomfoolery. The witch doctor still wants uh, more free entertainment. Come on, one more uh, one more time. Do it for the exposure. If you want to face the Witch Doctor, he, but he's an indomitable spirit. A polite decline for a minor treasure might be a better option. No, we're fighting him. Oh, come on. I swear you have the Chihuahua. I'm such a nice old man, too. Please entertain me one more time. He is determined to keep you around forever. It's a three-star encounter. We should be fine. Obviously, we don't want to be devious. Chihuahua. Alright, we definitely want this because we want treasure hunt. He is prepared to face us. Witch Doctor will dance around to fumble your plans and is all around a formidable um, blah blah blah. He may find some respect for you if he's excited or, or impressed. Alright, well we can make do with that. And there's a million people around us. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to go over here just kill these people. Best buddies. It's better to play it safe, so. Clearing out the fodder. He has 250 HP, so. Nothing compared to the 500 HP bosses we've been fighting. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move up. He has four movements. Alright, that's all the fodder. Thank you for the buff. The 
Witch Doctor takes off his mask in respect of you. He is immune to fear. All right, pretty straightforward. You did it, the witch doctor is amazed. I never thought to meet such amazing people in my old days. You deserve this chihuahua uh, treasure. I'm sure it's in good hands. All right, 200 renown to insight. And at this point, you might as well just get the six collect. The rest of this stuff could be useful, but not at this point, since we're not going on any more adventures. With the treasure in hand, you leave the village. Uh, Yvonne breaks that you really showed that witch doctor that the renowned explorers are all about. And yeah, we're done. Sheesh. The score might be even higher than my other one. I'm actually pretty impressed. Okay, I looked at all that. Our artifacts provided additional 13 study tokens and 9 encounter tokens. Holy cow, look at this. I never had- this is the biggest haul I've seen. And this is just a 3 star, by the way. If you- so going at, going to pre- like easier locations and just clearing it out um, is a valid tactic. Yeah, this is a high, new high score for me. This is four, over 4,000. I only had around 3,000 with my previous uh, victory. Back in London and everyone is enjoying the Explorer of the Year party, Pinkerton comes up to you. Listen to what he has to say. An exquisite job, Explorer. I must admit, I wasn't sure you could beat the competent Revelo, but he, it looks like you're the best Explorer among us. Then Revelo butts in. Uh-oh. Congratulations, Amelia. I was on my way to find the most epic treasure ever, but I thought I couldn't miss your first award. That would be ungentlemanly. He looks only slightly impressed. Thanks? Well, enjoy your first ceremony. You've earned it. But don't think you've personally bested me yet. Ha ha ha. You leave the salty Frenchman behind. It's time uh, to get your much-deserved reward. And there we go. You pretty much get the same ending, even if you don't get the high score. It's just a matter of, oh well, you didn't quite make it that time. And what's kind of neat is I'll actually kind of do a timeline of all the items you get in order, and you can see how much stuff we get throughout the entire thing. As you can see, it's growing exponentially. <laughs> and uh, one thing you can do is you can continue the Continue your adventure in marathon mode, which allows you to continue playing until you visited all locations, but disables achievements and leaderboards from this point on until you start a new game. But I'm, I'm not really going to do any of that. Um, yep, so let's go ahead and go back to main menu. This should get us access to... Um, there we go. We got two booster packs because we completed five expeditions, not including the tutorial, of course. Um, and there you go. Let's pull up. Let's see what we get. 
Okay. So we actually had got so much that we were already near a full, full bar. If you get any cards that you already have, it'll be they'll instead um, it'll be discarded and it'll fill this bar a little bit. So what ended up happening was we got enough to get another booster pack. So this only gave us one new card, which is uh, the campaign charm, which uh, choose one level three beguiler who gains plus four campaign on beguiler spends. Um, obviously we got the just the quick thinker one. And then over here is a one that's specific to Earl. Where he gets renown, uh, renown received from gold, increases by 3% every time you find a discovery. Next one. Okay, we etiquette course, which we... All, all crew members gain uh, the diplomat's etiquette perk, which is actually really good. I didn't know that even existed. Um, there's of course the crew story that we just did this playthrough. Um, and then we can also get all crew members get quick thinking thinker reflexes. Dodgeball. Okay, let's uh, continue. Last one. Uh, dangerous Engineer. One crew member gains three attack per level of engin Engineer. That's actually pretty good for Anna. Miracle hero Healer. Um, Philip has fallen quite ill. The crew tries to help. He gains minus 10 spirit, but he gains plus two collect and plus two study on rogue en and engineer spends. And Master Thief, which we've seen. And there you go. Uh, now we can use this guy as a captain. And that's the only new person, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and quickly take a look at our new captain. Alright, so what he gets is he gets plus 1, 2, and 3 collect when he hits levels 1, 3, and 5. Um, Beguiler... Let's see... For... Oh, sorry. He gets plus 1, 2, 3 collect for level 1, 3, five, and 5 of Beguiler, and level 1, 3, and 5 of Survivalist when spending insight on campaign. Okay, so... He... The more he gets a survivalist, he'll get more uh, collection from doing uh, campaign insights. Okay, pretty good. Alright, well, I guess that's it for right now. Um, I might play a little bit off screen just to unlock more cards and things like that. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other characters and obviously other playstyles. But we finally got to play through successfully and went further than, you know, stage one. So that's an improvement. So, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was uh, Renowned Explorers. See you guys later.